are going to talk about working percent of problems. And if you stick with this little formula, you can do them right every single time. So what is the formula? Is over of is equal to percent over 100. And if you set this up every time, it works. And then to solve a proportion like this, we're going to use the cross multiplying method. Where we're going to cross multiply these and set them equal to each other. So let's try one. First example is 10 is 40% of what number? So what I want you to focus on are these keywords, is and of and percent. So let's highlight where those numbers are. So 10 is the is part. 10 is what? 40%. So there's our percentage of what number? We don't know this part. We don't know the what or the of. So that's the part that's going to be our unknown. Okay, so now let's set this up into our proportion here. So is is going to be on top, and that value is 10. Of is going to be on the bottom, and we don't know that number, so we're going to write that as the variable x. Equals... And we put our percentage, which is just 40, over 100, because that's what the formula is. So that's how we set it up. The is over the of is equal to the percentage over 100. Now to solve this, to solve the any proportion, you're going to cross multiply. So I'm going to take 10 times 100, and I'm going to set that equal to this side, which is 40 times x. So 10 times 100 is 1,000, and 1,000 is equal to 40x. So now I'm going to grab my calculator and take 1,000 and divide it by 40. And that gives me 25. So that means X is 25. So how are we going to read this? What does this mean? 10 is 40% of the value 25.